guys, welcome to my channel. It's Stephanie again, and today I'm going to do a really quick um, first impression on a brush. I haven't finished my makeup. I did my eyes, but I don't have my lips or the rest of my face done. I was about to use the brush, and then I was like, let me just film a really quick first impression. So I always see a lot of people using the MAC 163 brush. I think that's right, and if it's wrong, I will link the one that I'm actually talking about somewhere on the screen right now. Oh, I'm out of breath, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I always see everybody use that contour brush. It's not like, it's kind of like the NARS Eda brush in that flat contour brush aspect, but it's a little denser than the NARS Eda brush. Anyways, I've always wanted to try it, but it's like $40, something like that. And I can't spend $40 on a brush, girl. I go on eBay and I type in contour, no, flat top contour brush. And this is what popped up. So I already opened my eBay bag. This is what popped up. It's a dupe for the MAC um, 163 or 143, some kind of brush like that. Oh, it's gorgeous. It looks just like this. So it has a flat top to it. See how it has like that dense flat. It has no numbers on it because it is a dupe. It came from China. It only took two weeks to get it and it was only $4 compared to like $40, which is what the NARS, not NARS, the MAC brush is. So I figured since this is like more than half the price, I would do a first impression and see if it really works. Feeling it, it feels really, really soft, but dense. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's really, really soft, but it's dense. Like, I feel like it'll really get in there, chisel out those cheekbones. So I am really excited. The seller that I got it from, let's see. Does it say the seller on here? I don't know. I'll link it below, so that way you guys can just click on it. I'm not like affiliated or won't get any money I don't know this person <laughs> if you just click on it it'll take you to it that way you don't have to search for it if you want a brush like this so what I'm gonna what I wanted to use it for was if you've been watching any of my videos you know that I like to do a strong contour not a strong bronze but a strong contour where I really sculpt my face and make my face look thinner what I do is I take the naked two palette and I take teas, which if you look at it, it's just like a gray color. It's like a very light gray color, which will cast a shadow under your cheekbone to make your cheekbones look, you know, more pronounced, which I don't know about you, but I want my face to look thinner. So when I saw this brush, I was like, ooh, that might be perfect for what I want to do. So I'm going to take the side of the brush and I'm just going to dip into... Ooh, that got a lot of product on there. And um, I've never used it. I don't know how this is going to go. Let's just see how it goes. Well, it creates a very strong line, which is nice. But does it blend out like I want it to? So I'm just plate right now. I'm just really placing the shadow where I want it, and I kind of take it right at the top of my ear and I take it down just like that and don't worry I am gonna blend all of this out so if you're like oh my gosh what are you doing just don't worry <laughs> I will blend it out and I kind of take it down a little bit past my eyebrow down towards my mouth here just because I want a more sculpted look you don't got to do this every day girl you don't got to do the <coughs> you don't got to do that at all but my face is very full and I hate it, so I'm going to really chisel it out. So I'm going to go on the other side here. I really like how, look at that sharp, crisp line. Oh my God. I really like how it places the line and I love how it feels. Like it feels really, really, really soft. So I've placed that strong line on both. Let me take a drink real quick. Oh, okay, so if I look forward, you can really see that strong, it does like a shadow, an indent right there, which is what I want. Now, I don't know how good this brush is going to be to blend out. I'm going to try it. 
So I'm just going to start blending upwards. You don't ever want to blend down because you want the shadow cast. If you blend down, it's going to look muddy and actually that blends out really, really nice. So I'm just doing, you know, upward motions, back and forth, upward, back and forth, upward. Oh my God, I'm actually really, really impressed. I'm going to take a little bit underneath my lip. And then some other day, I'm going to work in a minute, but I do want to test this out for contouring my nose because I think this would be really good. So... My first impression is that this is freaking awesome. I'm gonna blend it out with my bronzer. Here's one more look at the brush. It's got a very nice handle, silver ferrule, and it's got that flat top um, look to it, which I really like. I'm gonna blend everything out um, with, let's see, I'm gonna just use my Sephora Aruba bronzer and my fan brush. And I'm just going to bronze and blend everything out at the same time. And just really bronze up my face. And that will help also blend out that harsh line from that shadow. But it will still keep that shadow there because that's what I want is a shadow there to make it look like I have a slimmer face. Yes, I could just go on a diet and lose weight, and I plan on doing that after the first of the year, after the holidays, but for now, this is a good little tip and trick that I do that really does make your face appear slimmer. I should have did like a before and after shot. Maybe when I'm editing, I will try and do that. Now I'm going to take Milani Ro Dolce Pink. Just apply it um, on my cheeks. Take it along the backs of my cheekbones. That will also make your face look slimmer. Don't put it on the apples of your cheeks. It's going to make your face look fuller. If you have a really, really slim face and you want fullness to the face, place your blush right there. But if you don't want fullness to your face like I don't, take your blush back. Now I'm just going to blend everything out. And then I'm going to highlight with the Urban Decay Naked Luminizer and Luminous. And this is really going to help make your face, give it dimension, lift your cheekbones, make them look, you know, make everything look slimmer. And that is my goal in life. <laughs> Just kidding. But that's my goal in this makeup. I'm going to take it down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to set everything. I'm not going to do my lips because I don't want to make this video super, super long, but so far this brush is awesome. If you've been wanting to try the MAC brush that looks like this, I'm going to link the eBay one down below. And it's, I mean, I've never tried the MAC one, but I can't imagine it being any different. I mean, maybe the, the bristles are more high quality. But for what this brush is supposed to do, which is chisel out your cheekbones, I think it did amazing. I'm very, very, very pleased with it. I feel like my face looks very much slimmer and there's more dimension in my face, which is what I wanted. So I love it. I'm so happy that I got it. 
If you guys want to try it, I'll leave the link below. And again, I don't know this person. I'm not getting any money. I'm not getting anything. I just want to help you guys out in case you want a brush to really carve out your cheeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And please subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll see you in my next video.